special day for you. It is. Today is a special episode of Friends, Food, and Fun. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it's special is because it's her birthday. Well, it's a celebrate. couple of days after. And I will for, we'll forget that. <laughs> it's her birth month. But it's, it yes. Way. And it is also the Saturday, the closest the Saturday. closest Saturday to her yes. birthday. Mm -hmm. So typically, as tradition allows, I have her over for dinner. And I have it set up. Usually we're on, our, on my balcony, but this year, unfortunately, we couldn't do that. We had thunderstorms this morning. Yeah, so anyway, that, that hampered us from, yes. from being able to do it. So I created a little garden oasis yes. in my Living studio room. Oh, kitchen. <laughs> oh, yes, because the kitchen is behind, behind us. So typically it's behind us. Mm -hmm. So right now, we're just going to, I've got all my plants surrounding us, and, yes. and it gives us the, uh, the feeling of somewhere else other than my place. Yes. Right? We have a good magic nation. Don't we? we do. Yes. So we have a table it's set up here. And it's all a surprise for me. It's all a surprise. That's the way you like to do things. Yes. So it's, I call it secrets. Mm -hmm. Secrets will be revealed. So mm -hmm. one of the secrets we're going to reveal is menu. So this is the menu card. You're actually going to show me? I'm going to give it to you. Ooh. This is your souvenir. So hopefully you can read it. Can you see it? Yes. You're not reading it out though. No. <laughs> I'll let you do that. Oh, she's the trickster now. So, so I'm going to read the card. And I can ooh and And then she can ooh and ah, and this is her souvenir to take away, okay? So appetizer, it's assorted cheese and crackers. Which we like. Which we always like to. Mm -hmm. I've got a uh, prepared over here, we'll, we'll bring it over. Uh, the music in the background is, is Bach. Yes. So if you, if you can't hear us, we'll try to speak up a little bit, okay? <laughs> All right, so the next thing is shrimp cocktail. So I've Yay, got that ready which, we well, love. which we love as well. The next thing is our salad course, which is the bow tie pasta with crab. That sounds fabulous. Yeah, so I use real crab in this one. <gasps> uh, the fake crab that you would buy in the store. For our entree, I'm going to have served lobster tails with a white butter, basil, and lemon sauce. I'm in heaven already. Yeah, so the, the entree and the salad go together. Yes. Mm -hmm. Next up is dessert, and that's a surprise. Um, it is called a Fiesta Fantasy Chocolate Cake. Ooh, it's gonna be yummy. And then for a beverage, yes, a beverage. Yes. I have a bottle of wine chilling in the uh, in the fridge, which is why we have these which enormous is why we have, look glasses. Look at these huge glasses. Yes. These are massive. <laughs> I broke one today. Uh oh. Yeah, I was cleaning it. It, 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 went, it was a sacrifice it gave, to the gods. It, it, it did. It gave up its life. Mm -hmm. All right. So the other thing that I did was um, I made fresh lemonade. Oh, okay. Real lemon. With real lemon. And rhyme. Okay. Yes. So we're having a tropical um, citrus yep. thing. And then I bought a white wine moscato. I don't know if you've had that before. I, yeah, I do. I like okay. that. So that's what we're having for our menu. Ooh. Here's your little card. Oh, it's so, it's so lovely. It's the first thing we're going to have is our cheese and crackers. Oh, wonderful. And I'm back. Yeah. And I have, I brought with me cheese and crackers and lemonade. Yay. So. In a lovely Mediterranean style pitcher. Yep. Yeah. And you have a straw on your plate. Thank Just you. Like a one. It wouldn't be a proper show without me and my straw. I got one too. Woo! <laughs> so, cheers. Cheers, my darling. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Oh, mmm. Mm, it's good. the lime in it. Yeah, it's really good. It's fabulous. So, the way to make it, because we're not actually cooking on this show, we're just going to eat and talk. tease and talk mm -hmm. and do that kind of thing. So you have to make a sugar syrup, mm -hmm. and that's a cup of water with a cup and a half of sugar. And you bring and it you to a boil. bring it to a boil, turn it off the heat, stir it mm -hmm. briskly, and it actually goes clear. Mm -hmm. Then you take it off the heat, you let it rest right. until it cools down to room temperature, and then you chill it. And when you chill it, it turns into a syrup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it's seven cups of water right. after that, and then you have to zest, I zest, uh, the, red, the original recipe didn't call for it, but there's zest in here. So I zested about five lemons, mm -hmm. around that, maybe five or six lemons. Mm -hmm. um, and then I did about maybe four limes, mm -hmm. and I squeezed all the juice out of it, mm -hmm. and then you combine the whole thing into here, stir it up briskly, and off you go. And it's amazing. Chilling. Okay, well we've stopped the music, because <laughs> I told Blanca that I thought it sounded more like funeral music, and we're here to celebrate a birthday, not a funeral.
Yes, please. Yes, please. All right. So, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have some cheese and crackers. Okay. Let's try some of that stuff. And we can use the little dish on there. We're just going to remove all our cutlery implements of torture. And you notice that I put little yellow things on your plate. Yes. The little decorations that I made. Okay. What are they made of? They're made out of gum paste. Okay. They're edible. It's, like, it's just sugar. I like these. These are little garlic toasts that we've had before. And we've had them before. Well, you and I have them. Yes, they're we have. Them on the camera. And then, of course, these are just uh, rosemary herb type cat crackers as well. Now, the type of cheese that I have, I have um, old cheddar, mm -hmm. and it, it would crumble. It, was, it became crumbly, so I just crumbled it there, and I have a little knife so that we can serve it. And then I have blue cheese. Nice as well. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. So we're going to do that mm -hmm. and enjoy. Mm. How is it? Wonderful. Now we've done pre we, uh, previously we've done cheese episodes. Yes. And the best thing to do for cheese, of course, is to leave it out mm -hmm. a few hours before you serve because it warms up to room temperature, and it tastes the best then. Would you not agree? Mm -hmm. Definitely. So I'm, I've got the blue, nice chunk of blue cheese on my carpet. Mmm. Oh, that cheddar's good. Oh, that was delicious. It was really wonderful. Was really good. We had to stop eating because we were eating all the cheese. Yeah. Because we were not eating anything else. <laughs> so what would be the purpose of that? So last year for Holly's birthday, uh, we went to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Mm -hmm. And so we, we had a very, very nice meal there. It was lovely. And then we came back. Not the same day. No. <laughs> and a week or so later. We recreated her, uh, her birthday dinner. So we did it as, as one of the shows. Yeah, as close as we could. Mm -hmm. So this is more original because we're recreating this one. <laughs> we're original. Yes. <laughs> so our next course yes. is a shrimpy cocktail. Yay. Yay. So I get to go and pick it up for my little, I have a little table set up over yes. here. And that's sort of where everything gets set. Uh, well, that's, your, pixies, little, that's your little island. The Kitchen Pixies yes. put it there for us. And it Good. Goes. I just have to go pick it up. Good. So what I did was, this is a scallop dish. It's a little scallop dish. All right. Mm -hmm. For presentation. Now, I've been taking yes. pictures, so we'll put pictures up on the blog. Yes. To show everyone how this was all assembled. Mm -hmm. I just arranged the shrimp in a little ring. I put in the middle of it a little bowl, serving bowl. Right. With the, um, the sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I added, I discovered... I've known about it for a long time, but I've discovered Old Bay seasoning. Okay. It is, so I put a little bit in here, it's tangy. Mm -hmm. So, and then of course we have a little lemon. Yes. Wedge. Yes. So we get to, I put, you can put the dead bodies in here too, because we're going to save In them. where putting the dead bodies? In your, in your little dish. All oh, right, so somewhere at the end. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Only because we need, we need the big plate for the big stuff. Yes. Yes. All right, so, <laughs> shrimpy. Well. Ready, aim. Well, I'm going to. Give it up. Yes, I am, of course. My fingers aren't working. That's what happens when you get old. <laughs> She's five million and one. Yes. <laughs> well, that's at least how much I admit to. Okay, so cheers. Uh-huh. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is lovely. Mm-hmm. You know what's going Oh, so you know it's the sauce? I don't know how to describe it. Mm-hmm. But it's sophisticated I've and smoky. Speechless. Well, no, I haven't reached that stage yet. We almost got her. But so Old Bay seasoning is represented in all the dishes today. Okay. Except for the cheese. I didn't do it with cheese. Mm -hmm. So Holly was curious about the Old Bay seasoning, so I went yes. and got her the, uh, the little box. <laughs> so you don't know how hard it was to try to find this thing, but I found it. In Canada, you can find it in uh, Sobeys. Mm -hmm. That's where I found it. It was pretty easy then. So all day seasoning is for seafood, poultry, salads, and meats. Wow. Yeah. And uh, let's see. It says, shake up the flavor of all your favorite foods with the traditional taste of Old Bay seasoning. This versatile seasoning may be used as a shake on over steamed, grilled, or broiled fish, seafood, chicken, and vegetables. Excellent sprinkle over popcorn and french fries. Mm -hmm. I, haven't tried, I want to try the popcorn and the mm -hmm. french fry thing. So. And there's salt and spice. They won't tell you what's the spice. But anyway, it says including red pepper. And then there's other stuff to keep it from uh, from going tough and hard. Mm -hmm. and That's our old basic. Wow. Okay, so now now it's time to start the vino course. <laughs> is that a course? It is, that for, course us. is for us. Now, um, 
in the sauce that I'm making for the uh, lobster. You've already used some. Yeah, I've used this. It's called, uh, what's it called? Fat Cat 2002 New Zealand Chardonnay. Ooh, okay. Vin Blanc. Well, of course. For those that want to know. Yes. So, these are nice big glasses. And because we know you're a drunk. I am not. Well, on your birthday you are. You get, look at the side. Oh, this is what a color, right? I know. But it's picking, it's picking up the, um, it's pick, picking up the um, fascinators and the, it was a tech centerpiece. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I've had this chili in the fridge. There's more to the bouquet, mm -hmm. uh, so I have to keep drinking it. <laughs> Because the taste is one thing, and then there's the just when you stick your nose in the. Yeah, I'm not normally a, a, a white wine. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It tastes more um, like a liquor than a wine. Sherry. Yeah. Pale sherry. That's what, yes, that, that's why I was thinking liquor. See, the nose knows. She knows. She knows how to identify. I come up with something. And then I Ariel. and then I uh, and, and she brings it back up. down to earth. <laughs> Pale cherry. Here, yeah, not bad. I guess you got to drink more of it to get used to it. Eh? Okay, we're gonna get here, uh, sit more sillier, and drink more of this stuff. I've got the lobster hey. sitting in the uh, toaster oven. I'm already silly, you know. <laughs> you you're, the, you're the one. I know you're the one who needs to get silly. I need to get silly now yeah. too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the lobster, um, they're is, take, they're is in the little oven that could. It is. I love that little oven. Uh -huh. So their lobster tails are Atlantic um, lobsters, which mm -hmm. I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. Well, you favorites. grew up there, <clears throat> so exactly. Yes. Up there. So what? Uh, all you do is you cut the tails into in half. half. Yes. I've kept the bottom part of it together so that it'll keep. It yes. And then you just brush it with butter, uh -huh. and you stick it under the broiler for about ten minutes. And then it's finito, done. It's the easiest thing. I've talked about decadent, but the easiest thing to do. Fabulous. So it's going to be great. Mm -hmm. We're going to serve that with a uh, crab salad that I made earlier this week. Mm -hmm. That's going to be great. Yes. Yay! <laughs> Now, the sauce has basil. Yes. You know, our good friend basil. Yes. And it has um, shallots, yes. finely chopped. Actually, the basil is finely chopped. And I have a container garden, so I use the basil from there. Good. And then um, there is, uh, of course, this uh, white wine. Yes. Uh, the Fat Cow New Zealand Chardonnay. And there's lemon juice. Lemon juice, uh, whipping cream, so it's 35% cream. In it as well, and about three quarters cup of butter that you cut into cubes. Right. So once the sauce, um, so you you basically boil off the alcohol with mm -hmm. the white wine. Right. And the shallots. Mm -hmm. Then you add in the cream, the basil, and the lemon juice, mm -hmm. and you stir it around until it boils. Take it off the heat, and then you stir in the cubed butter and whip it. So this has been reducing too for for uh, a little while. Well. Just needed a slight sprinkle of pepper. Yes. So there is salt pepper in this too and I also added in some Old Bay seasoning but it's it's hard to try to figure out what the right uh, measurement is for our taste. Mm -hmm. So we decided that we would add it um, at the table. Yes. Now, and also so it wouldn't be changed by the heat. Yes. Alenka did ask me about this implement of torture. Well, you see, I've had lobster before, but I've never used anything like this, so I'm completely in the dark. Mm -hmm. So this is a little implement of torture. It's got it looks like a little pick on the end. Yes. And a little scoop on the other side. Okay. So this is for the hard crevices that you can't uh, get the meat out. Okay. So I asked her how she actually got the stuff out of the legs. And, <laughs> and I said I sucked it she up. She sucked it out. So she's got some pretty good lungs on her then if that's what she's been doing. <laughs> so I told her most people use this instead. Oh, this isn't fun. <laughs> so well it could be fun. <laughs> Alright, so let's let's try the All right. Uh, so sweet. what are we First bite. Oh, you're much faster at it than I am. Oh, it's because I'm using it's good. a foreign implement. Finally. Finally, she well, she wrestled. I can start. She's, she's, I've been I've been falling asleep here. Going like this <laughs> Is she done yet? Well, he had me playing with a foreign implement. 
one was missing. That's okay, I get to suck on it. Oh! Mm. So mm. this is her technique of getting every, every, every bit out. You're a processor. And the tails are fabulous. Fa that. Fabulous. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Excuse me as we leave her alone <laughs> with her lobster <laughs> tail. <laughs> So oh, I can no. try the crab salad. All right, <laughs> that was the easy <laughs> thing. That, that, yeah, crab salad is easy. Thing. So here's the little farfalla. Mmm, it's nice. So I found a nice recipe for this. I just changed it. <laughs> it's of course you did. <laughs> it has a very mellow taste. Yeah. So. Um, if you've made traditional crab salad, sometimes you'll, you'll find it has uh, crab flavored pollock. Mm. That's crab, as a crab meat. And you know, you probably can't tell the difference, but it, it's, um, it's the flavor of the crab juice that goes with it. I didn't want to do that at all, so I, had, I went and I knew it existed. I just had to go and find it. I um, wanted a real crab meat. Not the stuff that's in the can, but it's fresh. So it right. <clears throat> this is uh, claw. Oh, mm. So it's crab claw meat, mm -hmm. and it comes into a nice little container, mm -hmm. and then you make a sauce um, for it. And of course, you boil the pasta. This is far from early. Yes. There are little bow tie uh, passes, basically. That's the other thing that we call it. Uh, that's what it looks like. Little little bow fly, bow flies. It doesn't. Bow fly. <laughs> Butterflies. I was thinking. Both. Yeah, a little bow fly. Yes. So then, what I did was I added. Old Bay seasoning to I've it. I've heard that before. Yeah, so I added that to the sauce. I also added in peas and um, some florets of uh, broccoli. Because I've already tasted a few peas. Yeah. Now the peas that I used were the canned variety. Mm -hmm. So I, I like the canned variety of peas and the frozen ones are really good too. So the recipe called. Uh, the recipe gave you like a choice of either you know this or that kind of stuff. So I said, why not just add it all? And then of course the Old Bay seasoning wasn't part of the original deal, but it got added. It got added to it, and you know what? It actually really changes the flavor. Mm -hmm. So it's really good. I blanched the uh, broccoli so that they're tender, but they're not uh, fully cooked. Oh, I finally found a broccoli. Lots of big pieces in there, and uh, lots of. I was very surprised. Lots of crab meat too. It was nicely chopped up, and I didn't have to uh, work too hard to, to incorporate it into it. And then what I did was I, um, as I seasoned it, I tasted it to make sure that it tasted okay. Right. And it came out perfectly, and it's been sitting in the fridge, just um, what I call festering. But it tastes really nice now that it's had a chance to come to room temperature. To room temperature, yeah. So it's it's I, I really enjoy it. So we get to enjoy our crab salad with our lobster tails. More secrets are yet to be revealed. <laughs> More. Help. Well, I think it's time for the final piece. And this one I've been dying to show you. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh dear. Day. Well, he should have served me dessert first. Should have done cake first, yeah. think, right? So it is a cake. So okay. you need to clear some space in front of you. Okay. It goes. Okay. Just how. So. Just how. <laughs> I'm scared now. You should be. Oh dear. Yeah, oh dear is right. Oh dear. <laughs> I think I'm closing my eyes. Yeah, you can. Close your eyes. And I'm going to put it in front of you. And then you're going to take the napkin off. Oh, he wants me to have a heart attack. Yeah. So that I don't reach the, I don't reach five million in two. In two. Okay. Oh. Take it from here. Okay. We can't eat this. <laughs> it has to, it has to go into a stasis pot forever and ever. <laughs> oh, Brian, it's so <laughs> beautiful. So I'll, I have pictures to show everyone oh. in case you can't see the detail. So what's on it? Well, there's leaves and stars and flutterbys and flowers, and it's 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 a three dimensional thing. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's, it's I can smell the, the buttercream uh, mm. fondant. So, we have to destroy yes, it. Yes, we do. Just like when I had my birthday, I had to destroy my the Stargate. The Stargate. Yes. I had 
had a pyramid cake created. And I had to destroy it. I know it was tough for me to do it as well. So, <laughs> but there's yummy goodness on the inside that we have to get to. But sometimes it's too pretty. <laughs> well, it'll just get moldy. Okay. And rot. We're bring on the forks and plates. <laughs> Convinced her to do that. Okay, so I'll get forks, plates, and a knife. Yes. You're, you're, you'll do a ceremonial cut, and I'll actually... Oh, thank you very much. Look at this one. What? Oh, my goodness. Now, that is such a Marilyn Monroe <laughs> thing. It's a, it's a cake server. Where did you get that from? Oh, some store. <laughs> and it's, it's a magnet, so it's, uh, you can throw this in the dishwasher. And it looks like a shoe. <laughs> So, I thought, yes, perfect. Yes. Wow. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Are we ready now? Yep. Now, this cake yes. is a Fiesta Fantasy Chocolate. Now, of course, you know me. Yes, I know you very well by now. Um, the recipe is, a, is a, the original cake recipe. Right. But, oh, and there's a mousse on the inside in between the layers. So there's four layers. And then, on top of that... <laughs> because that's not enough. Because that's not enough. Then there's a, um, an, an icing that I got from somewhere else. Yes. And then I decorated it. Oh... What do you think? I'm just putting this on top here. You're going to have to roll me out of here. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to take a picture of this with you. Oh, Look at that. I have some with the green stuff on top. You know I'm not going to finish this. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> You're getting the cake going. Oh, boy. Come on, silly top. Is it good? Mm. You get to taste it first because I don't even know what this tastes like. Mm, mm, mm. Chocolate. So this cake took me all week to do only because I was wanted to make sure it was perfect. Oh. Mm. 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 What what what's the mm. There's coffee in there? Yep. I'm yep. finding that I think I really like coffee in and chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. So I'm going to post all the pictures and the recipes in, uh, in the blog so that uh, you can try this out as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lovely looking um, it is. cake. So I get to try this now and see what this tastes like. Because I've been dying to taste this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good. I guess we need to have a, uh, um, our final toast. Yes. <laughs> To another five million in one year. Exactly, to your health. And, and you have to st stick around I for all around of them. Too. Yes. To your health and to your health. Thank you again for watching another episode, a special episode of Helenka's <laughs> Birthday Party with myself, Brian, and Helenka. Mm -hmm. For more episodes in our blog, please visit our website at friendsfoodfun.tv for more fun. Lots so more fun. Get out there and uh, play with your food as well. We'll see you again soon. Take care for now. Cheers. Bye. 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 Mm. <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> More drinky. Oh.